At MarkMetrics, we make instruments that help our customers gain greater control of their processes that involve chemistry. Our instrument is called the All-in-One Process Raman System. The underlying technology we use is called Raman Spectroscopy, which I'll cover further in a few minutes. Raman Spectroscopy is not new technology. In fact, the first commercial instrument was built in 1953. But what Raman instruments have lacked until now is the size, reliability, ease of use, and affordability to measure key variables in a process so that they can be controlled. In fact, the all-in-one was designed based on the experiences that our founder, Brian Marquardt, had in working with instruments from competitors for roughly 20 years. While at the University of Washington, many companies sought Brian's expertise for integrating Raman spectroscopy into their production processes. While Brian and his clients recognized the potential for Raman to improve efficiency and quality, there were challenges with the hardware. It was hard to use and required a scientist on staff to operate and maintain. Reliability and cost were also problematic. Brian realized that to fully unlock the power of Raman, better hardware was needed. This was the impetus behind the all-in-one system, a design that would make Raman more accessible by taking the scientist out of the science. By being small, easy to use, reliable, and affordable, the all-in-one is uniquely qualified to solve a common problem faced by those who use chemistry to make things. The problem being a lack of visibility into and control of the underlying reactions. Manufacturing processes involving chemistry can be extremely complex, especially biopharmaceuticals, where cells are doing the work. Subtle variations in the environment can have a huge impact on yield and quality. The consequences can range from failed batches, inefficient use of resources, products that don't meet quality specifications, and limited data to help make improvements over time. So how can the all-in-one help solve the problem? There are Raman applications that span the entire biopharma manufacturing process. Verifying the integrity of raw materials is the first step where the all-in-one can help ensure the process gets off to a good start. In practice, we've observed notable variations in the chemical composition of growth media. Variations significant enough to have an impact on yields and cycle times. Next, customers want to know what's happening in the bioreactor so they can adjust if necessary. This is true regardless of whether manufacturing is done via batch or continuous flow and Raman works in either scenario. Do the cells have the right amount of glucose? Are too many secondary metabolites building up? Are the cells beginning to produce the product of interest? How much product has been produced and does it have the right characteristics? The all-in-one can answer all these questions. And because the all-in-one can interface with third-party control systems, Adjustments can be made in near real time to optimize conditions. And finally, when capturing finished product downstream, customers want to know exactly when and how much protein is coming out of the purification column. These are just a few examples of how our system can help achieve a higher level of efficiency and quality. Now, I'd like to quickly explain how Raman spectroscopy works. The technology starts with a laser. A laser is directed at a substance of interest through a fiber optic cable with a probe at the end. The energy from the laser causes the molecules in the substance to vibrate. The vibrations of the molecules cause the light from the laser to scatter. Some of the scattered light makes its way back through the probe and fiber optic cable into a detector within the all-in-one. The detector essentially takes a picture of the light scattered from the sample. The picture is called the Raman spectrum. What makes this technology powerful is that the Raman spectrum of every molecule is unique. For that reason, it's sometimes referred to as the molecular fingerprint. And just like fingerprints are used to identify people, we can use the Raman spectrum to identify a given substance. And the fingerprint can tell us not only qualitatively what something is, but also quantitatively how much there is of it. In a nutshell, that's how the technology works. There are several advantages to Raman spectroscopy when it comes to providing control of reactions in a process. The first advantage is that it's non-destructive. That means samples are not destroyed when they're measured. Why is that important? 
Well, because the technology is non-destructive, it can be placed directly within the production line to measure on a continuous basis. This is what is called inline or online measurement. Raman's also fast. Most substances can be measured in a matter of seconds or less. Because Raman's fast and non-destructive, it can be placed inline or online to constantly monitor what's happening. The next advantage is that the Raman spectrum provides us with a lot of information about the substance being tested. Every one of the peaks in the Raman spectrum tells us something unique about what we're testing. That gives us many opportunities to identify what we're looking for, which is important when measuring in a bioreactor containing many molecules of different types. The next advantage is that there's a direct and linear relationship between the concentration of a given substance and the intensity of the peaks in the spectrum. What does this mean? It means building quantitative models is easier. With a relatively small number of samples, we can build a model that accurately predicts concentration across our range of detection. We can also measure substances in all forms, whether they're solid, liquid, gas, powder, or slurry. A final advantage is that unlike other forms of spectroscopy, water does not distort our measurements. Therefore, we can see clearly what's happening in an aqueous solution like that found inside of a bioreactor. Next, I'd like to offer a detailed comparison to competitors. Because there are different ways of identifying substances and their concentrations, we compete with other technologies in addition to other ramen manufacturers. Technologies like FTIR, mass spec, and HPLC. This slide illustrates why ramen is better suited for inline and online measurements in aqueous based solutions than competing technologies. First of all, mass spec and HPLC can't be used online or inline because they're destructive. When it comes to using measurements to control a process, this is a huge disadvantage. This is because removing a sample from the line takes precious time and also reduces accuracy. Therefore, mass spec and HPLC typically lack the ability to adjust a process as frequently and accurately as customers would like. The next competing technology is FTIR, which is closer to Raman but does not provide as much information about a substance even in ideal conditions, let alone an aqueous-based solution. And finally, compared to the best Raman competitors, we set ourselves apart in several ways. First, our system is easier to use. Someone with no prior Raman experience can typically begin taking measurements within 15 minutes of removing the instrument from the box. Hospitals across the country are using the all-in-one to make hundreds of measurements daily without the need for any scientific staff to maintain and calibrate the instruments. Next, we're small. With a footprint less than one square foot and three inches tall, our instruments are sized to be placed at the point of measurement. Third, with no moving parts other than the cooling fan, our system is designed to be reliable and stable. Uptime exceeds 99% and calibrations performed in the factory remain accurate over years. And finally, we're priced at a fraction of our top competitors. And keep in mind that the initial price is only the one component of the total cost of ownership. By being easy to use and reliable, our instruments are also less costly to install and operate over time. At Mark Metrics, we're realizing the full potential of Raman by building better hardware. To recap, at Mark Metrics, we're all about making Raman spectroscopy more accessible to help our customers control chemistry. We accomplish this by ensuring that the all-in-one is easy to use, reliable, small, and affordable, both in the initial acquisition cost and ongoing operation. By taking the scientists out of the science, we're opening up new applications for Raman and increasing the returns on existing applications. Returns that come in the form of faster cycle times, higher yields, and better quality. Now I know I've covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time. If I caught your attention and you'd like to learn more, here are some suggestions. Currently, we're two thirds of the way through a three-part webinar series about our product and applications in biopharma and pharma manufacturing. The first two webinars are available as recordings on our website. The third webinar will take place on July 29th. You can register for the upcoming webinar at our company website, 
where of course, you'll also find more information about all our products. To stay on top of our future developments, please follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. In closing, I'd like to thank you for your attention, and we look forward to the opportunity to have a conversation about how we can help you obtain greater control of your manufacturing process.